Today's video is made possible thanks to the generous sponsorship of companies like LuckyGunner.com. Please head to LuckyGunner.com and thank them for being a sponsor of Active Self Protection. Hey everybody, it's John. I am, I'm really excited. I want to introduce you to Amy Robbins, who is the owner of Alexo Athletica. Thank you. Uh, and uh, oh God, we should have recorded this. We've just been sitting I off know. camera talking a whole bunch. <laughs> but suffice it to say, we're kindred spirits from a lot of reasons. And um, so I want to introduce you to her and what what you're doing and how you're doing it. And then maybe we can get into that, some awesome. of that stuff. So tell us a little bit about about Alexo and sure. what you do. Absolutely. So so the company Alexo Athletica, we launched it October 2017. And what we do is we make active carry wear for the fashionable woman. The woman that wants to be prepared, the woman that wants to carry confidently, yep. whatever she chooses to carry. Um, we are big believers in the woman's right to choose how she wants to defend and protect herself. Yep. And so we, we made a very functional active wear line that has lots of pockets and storage spaces within the leggings. Are you talking about real pockets? Not real girl pockets. pockets that are this deep, but like real pockets? You, such deep pockets on the side that I can put like my eight plus with an otter ball box in there and the, it does not move at all when real I go pockets, running. Like, real pockets, ladies. And on top <laughs> of that, some of our, our pockets are strategically designed to actually be built in holsters. Okay. <coughs> so like I said, we want to encourage women to choose what they want mm. to defend themselves. While I have my license to carry and I personally was looking for options that were comfortable mm. and were cute enough to help fit into my everyday life. There just wasn't anything on the market um, right. several years ago when I started this. I've come a long way in the women's industry and the, the gun world. Um, but aside from that, I know not every woman is comfortable with a firearm. Um, I didn't become comfortable with them until about five years ago myself. Yep. And so I, I really want to do a big push on just getting women to first and foremost start thinking and being situationally aware. Okay. Um, which is why I put so many pockets in here, so that you don't have your phone in your hand, your keys in your hand, right. you're not sitting down texting. I want women to be hands-free, so they can be situationally aware first, and then I want them to have the ability to have the tool on their body. On body because carry. Because we all know, I mean, I did it too. When I first started my concealed carry journey, I did the whole off-body thing, because yeah. I wasn't comfortable carrying on my body. I until I practiced and I trained and I, I learned more about it. And then as I, um, so how this all came about, I was training for a marathon and I would be out running out in the country by myself really early in the morning or late at night, you know, right. to get your miles in before and after, or after work. Yeah, and, and it doesn't look like it. I used to run too, so, you know. <laughs> and so I would be out there and I remember thinking when cars would pass me and roll down their window and cat call, or I'd have people drive slow and turn around and follow me, nothing ever happened, but I remember thinking, what if, yeah, what if? something happened? What is the best thing I'm gonna be able to do? Call the cops? And yeah. I don't even know where They'll I am. know where to pick up the body. I'm in the middle of yeah. nowhere. I mean, am I gonna jump the barbed wire fence and run away? I'm not gonna outrun them. The Something chances we say all the time. are they're no bigger. No one's coming to save you. No one is coming to save you. And that was a very like big aha moment for mm. me. As I, my parents really helped us grow up and be very independent, confident women. And I thought I was very independent until I realized that taking my safety into my own hands was the most independent thing I could do. Well, and it's nobody can force you to do anything. Exactly. And you're not relying on somebody to preserve what is the most precious thing that you have, which is your life. And you're not always guaranteed to have somebody there with you. So I, I had to get trained. I mean, I always had guns in our, in our house. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't until I started working with NRA TV that I was around it constantly. And I had some of the best trainers. I got really spoiled working with NRA TV. I yeah, mean, I bet. I didn't know that not everybody gets to work with, uh, you know, Pincus and uh, Costa. Like, uh, we just had really great trainers sure. that, that came like, on the show. But I learned about them. I faced my fears. They were really intimidating to me um, mm. at the very beginning. I, I had a revolver at the home because I didn't want to load a magazine. Okay. I didn't think I could rock a slide. And then when I realized I could, talk about the most empowering thing I've ever done in my life, sure. was to be able to look at any handgun 
no matter who the manufacturer is, how it works, and I can operate that thing. Mm. I can load a magazine on my own now. Right. I can rack any slide that's out there on the market. And it was just so empowering for me, mm. and I wanted more women to, to feel the same thing I felt with the, with the it was like a different level of confidence. Yeah. It's another, it's, you can be confident when you know, put on lipstick and you look pretty and you put on nice clothes, like that's this type of confidence, but the confidence that comes from knowing you could take care of yourself you bet. is a totally different level of confidence. Mm. And I think it's so important that we, I, that we teach younger women this type of confidence. Well, and, and I think a lot of women getting in, starting in, they struggle struggle, they really do struggle in the wardrobe. What well, they do, mm -hmm. my, so I did. my mm -hmm. wife is yep. just kind of getting into this world yep. and took a class with us last yep. month and, and, and she's frustrated and she's struggling yeah. And, yeah. and of course, I'm her husband. Yeah. I can't. I can't teach her this stuff, like right. for a host of reasons. But to have some things to go, go check this out. Well, see we what you wanted got. to make it so that it would excite people to wear the clothes, whether or not they carried a gun. Okay. So, in a very distinct aesthetic, I was going for. From, I wanted it to be classic. I wanted them to be great silhouettes that looked good on any body type. Okay. I wanted the colors. Uh, I wanted the fabrics to feel amazing, to to make you look amazing, mm. and then to be very, very functional on top of that. So I wanted people, women love to get dressed. We love to wake up and figure out what we're gonna put on our, our bodies, you know? And so to have a line that you look at that's like, oh, I'm excited to wear that. There was just nothing I was excited to wear in the yeah. gun industry. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, it just it just wasn't my style. That doesn't mean it was bad. It doesn't mean that it wasn't sure. good products. There were great companies that made great products out there for, um, for certain types of women and they gravitate to that. I just didn't, and so it, it? it didn't speak to me, and I really wanted, um, I wanted to be able to basically wear what I was already wearing anyways, which was Lululemon, but they were never gonna put a holster in my pants. They were never gonna be conducive once I did get my license to carry. I was like, there, there's no options that I can not sacrifice my current lifestyle and carry on my body when I want to mm. and when I need to. And so, so yeah, so I, I think we accomplished that. We have a lot of women that are loving our products. We awesome. can't keep the stuff on the shelves fast enough. We were gonna take 2018 to test the market, see if anybody <laughs> else wanted this crazy idea I had to put gun pockets in your leggings mm. and, and an act, make an entire lifestyle line that's fashionable surrounding that. And we have found a great market of women. There is so much white space. We, we basically found out that people were craving it and they didn't even know they were craving it. Right. They wanted it, they didn't even know they wanted it yet. And uh, so as soon as it hit, we things just have flown off the shelves every time we restock. We, we back order several months at a time, so. Yeah. 